folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're on Fox Island, Washington, and we're working on a suburban SF30F furnace. And what's happening is when the, uh, I've already got it out of the, the um, uh, its enclosure, and um, I've got a known good 12 volts, and when we connect these two blue wires together is simulating the thermostat. So um, we're getting a clicking sound, and uh, when we follow the, trail of 12 volts let me see if I can get this done with one hand here you hear the click here on this relay board the control board um, so we're followed the 12 volts and uh, the blue wire here is got 12 volts on it so we know it's made it's past its high limit thermostat and its sail switch so it's looking like this board is bad so the next thing we'll do is we'll um, we've got it loose and um, so when you have the clicking sound, but no fan, because the fan is controlled from the relay on this board, and there's no fan. But I do want to disconnect this red wire here and um, put 12 volts directly on the motor to make sure the motor is good. Okay, so I got the motor to work, and all I did was I moved this um, control board. So what, that tell, what that's telling me is there's a wiring fault somewhere on this. So when it was in this orientation, there you, you hear that clicking sound? So there's a short somewhere. It might be on the board. By moving this around, I'm getting it to work and not work. There, okay, it stopped working. Let me see here. Uh, make sure my I'm still connected here. Okay, so the the clicking sound is it wants to start. And there you go. Okay, so I'm moving this and the, and it's working. So I think the board's fine. Now we're going to be looking for a wiring fault on this. I hear it clicking around on me. So let's go dig in and I'll tell you what I find. Let's see here. Uh, this this has got 12 volts on it. This one goes to the motor right here. And it's got to be this relay on the control board because I've got a constant 12 volts here. Over on this side, on the blue wire, I've got a constant 12 volts, which is coming back from the cell switch. I've got my good ground. And uh, so the only only other thing left here is this relay on this board is intermittent. So we'll know we've succeeded if we put a new board on and it works fine every time. Okay, so what we've done is we've replaced this control board with a new one and uh, the, the furnace works right away. And on this one, I put this one back on and it's intermittent. And when I thump this relay, it would work and not work. So we're pretty sure we nailed it with, with the, the board being the problem. So at this point, we'll put the whole furnace back together and put it in and make a happy camper. Okay, so hope these videos help. This is Darren from My RV Works. Happy camper. Say My RV Works.